Hello, welcome to solve x times x plus 2 times x plus 4 times x plus 6 equal to 9. So let's solve this to find the value of x from this equation. First of all, from the left hand side, we will take x and x plus 6. So we will write this as x times x plus 6. Then here remains x plus 2 times x plus 4 equals 9 right then in the next step it will be this x times x is x square this x times 6 is 6x and from here this x times x is x square then this x times 4 is 4x then 2 times x is 2x plus then 2 times 4 is 8 equals 9 then we can write this as x square plus 6x bracket then x square now this 4x plus 2x is 6x plus 8 equals 9 now you can see this x square plus 6x is common so let's make this equals a that is let a equals x square plus 6x so this equation will become a times a plus 8 equals 9 right then in the next step we can write this as a times a is a square plus 8a equals 9 now let's move this 9 to left hand side so it will be a square plus 8a minus 9 equals 0. Now this is a quadratic equation. So let's solve this by factorization to find the value of a. So we can write this as a square plus this 8a is same as 9a minus a minus 9 equals 0. Because this 9a minus a is again equals 80 right now we can take a common from the first two terms so this is a times a plus 9 then we'll take negative 1 common from these two terms so here remains a plus 9 equals 0 right then in the next step this a plus 9, a plus 9 is same. So let's take out this common. So we are left with a minus 1 equals 0. So this implies that we have two solutions that is either a plus 9 equals 0 or this a minus 1 equals 0. From here, we can write this as this a is equal to negative 9. Uh, and from here this a is equal 1 now let's recall value of a is x square plus 6x let's substitute this value so we can write this as x square plus 6x equals minus 9 and from here this is x square plus 6x equals 1 now let's move this negative 9 to left hand side so this is x square plus 6x plus 9 equals 0 or we can write this as x square plus 2 times 3 times x plus 3 square equals 0 now this is a formula so this can be written as x plus 3 whole square equals 0 because if you expand this, this will be x square plus 2 times ab plus b square. Now apply square root on both sides so that this square root and square gets cancelled out. So this is x plus 3 equals 0 or we can write x equal to negative 3. So this is our first solution. Now we'll move to this side. So from here we can write this as x square plus 6x minus 1 equals 0 right 
Now since this is a quadratic equation, so we will solve it by using quadratic formula. And we know quadratic formula is given as x equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So that implies that x is equal to negative b and we, we know b is 6 plus minus under root b square that is 6 square minus 4 a, a is 1 and c is negative 1 over 2 times a that is 2 times 1 right so this is equal to minus 6 plus minus uh, the 6 squared is 36 minus 4 times negative 1 this is plus 4 over 2 1 is our 2 then in the next step we can write this as x equals negative 6 plus minus this 36 plus 4 is under root 40 over 2 so this is x equal to negative 6 plus minus this under root 40 is same as under root 4 times under root 10 over 2 so that means x is equal to minus 6 plus minus this under root 4 is same as 2 under root 10 over 2 now we'll take two common so we have x equal to this is uh, 2 times minus 3 plus under root 10 over 2 now we can cancel this 2 and 2 so we have x equal to minus 3 plus minus under root 10 so this is other solution of this equation so all the three solutions are x1 is minus 3 x2 is minus 3 plus under root 10 and x3 is equal to minus 3 minus under root 10 these are all three solutions now we check one of the solutions to ensure our solution is correct so let's check the main problem was x times x plus 2 times x plus 4 times x plus 6 equals 9 so let's substitute value of negative 3 in our equation so this is negative 3 negative 3 plus 2 then negative 3 plus 4 then negative 3 plus 6 which equals this is negative 3 now this negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 and this negative 3 plus 4 is plus 1 and this is 6 minus 3 is 3 which equals now this negative 3 negative 1 is 3 and 3 1s are 3 so which is equal to 9 so as you can see this left hand side equals right hand side so that means our solution is correct so thanks for watching this video and keep supporting us and don't forget to subscribe our channel We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.